Alright guys, so let's talk about first of all my background as someone who has made successful TikToks and Reels. So I've made like maybe three to four very impactful TikToks throughout my whole career there. Um, especially two of them helped me a lot to gain some followers there, um, especially to gain some recognition on my own country which is Peru. You will need some light. And for that, you may use the light of the sun, that's great. Uh, you can also use uh, just like uh, ring lights. You can use LED lights to help you get a better uh, contrast in your videos. Uh, you will also need a tripod. And if you don't have a tripod, that's no problem. If you have someone that can help you record a video, that's going to be really helpful as well. So. First of all, you need to know that well, when you upload a TikTok or a Reel, you will gain a lot of brand awareness. And this is because you go outside of the current fan base that you have. Maybe you have right now like 500 uh, producers following you right now. That's fine. But once you upload a TikTok, that's not going to be shown to basically those followers you already have, but people that are outside of, you, of that sphere of followers that you already have right now. So, when you upload a TikTok, it will be first shown not to your followers exactly. And this is something weird about TikTok. It actually doesn't show it to the vast majority of your followers, but it will firstly uh, show your video to people outside of your following. And this is because TikTok prioritizes organic reach. And if your video performs well, like maybe in the first 30 minutes or the first hour, it will start showing to even more and more people. This is very important, the pacing. For the pacing you, uh, of the video, you basically want it to be as fast as possible. You don't want to overdo the scenes you may do. You want to get into the point as fast as possible. Um, if you have like a way too long uh, intro, people are just going to keep on scrolling, you don't want that. So uh, pacing is really, really important. It also has to do a lot with luck in order to have the algorithm to show your video to millions of people. Sadly, you don't really know when that's going to happen. Sometimes you can have two videos that are literally the same concept, but one is going to be pushed to thousands of people and the other one is going to be just pushed to maybe 50 people. Maybe you want to make a 7 second TikTok, a, 50 se uh, a 15 second video or maybe a 1 minute video. That whole thing will depend on you, but you have to keep that in mind and write it down somewhere so you know what your limitations are. Out of that you can learn how the pacing was what type of edit editing they did, uh, did they use, uh, how did they use the sounds uh, and, and stuff like that. You can learn a lot by searching for hashtags if you uh, haven't uh, had the chance to be like a full user of the app. Alright guys, so now we're gonna edit the video. You don't have to be super professional about it, you just gotta keep it clean, keep it simple and remember the pacing is so important. So. We're here on Premiere Pro, but you can use CapCut or really any uh, software that lets you just edit videos. But keep it simple. Don't use like 100 uh, hashtags. Don't, you, don't, you, don't even use 20 hashtags. Maybe use less than 10. It's more than enough. Your video has to um, kind of tell the audience what the video is about. Definitely keep on improving on your pacing on how much you upload, but don't stop uploading. The algorithm doesn't like that. I know you don't want to kind of be a slave to the algorithm. I understand that. However, consistency is quite important. <laughs>